All right, today we're gonna to be setting up the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Should be a fun video. Okay, so we're gonna be installing the Pro Trailer Backup Assist on this trailer. This is my 2018 PJ, it's a 45 foot deck, 53 feet, feet overall, so we're gonna see how well that works. Uh, so let's go get the box of goodies that the truck came with and we'll see all the sensors and the wiring cord. Okay, so in this box, I was already looking through it. So we got, this is what we need for the Pro Trailer Backup Assist to throw in that and then it's like a little unboxing this cable i have no idea what it's for but i'm guessing it's for the camera and or tpms a bunch of zip ties and everything let's see this is the sensor for the tpms you get the or the receiver i should say and the tpms sensor is here now i can't use the tpms sensors because i have eight wheels and that only uh, supports six and they're commercial, so the steel inside the tires don't let the TPMS sensors send the signal out. Same thing with the F450s, anyone that doesn't know, they don't have TPMS sensors in them because of the steel belted tires. Anyways, okay, so this is what we're gonna need, shit. This is what we're gonna need here to set up the trailer backup assist. Okay, so this is what we need, I think. I didn't read the instructions, because, I mean, who really wants to do that? Pretty simple. This here, you can either, this here, it has like 3M adhesive, you can stick it onto the trailer, or you can use these giant zip ties and zip tie it on there. And pretty much, it's pretty simple. The uh, arrows on here have to be facing up. You stick that somewhere horizontally or vertically onto the trailer, onto the side, and then you plug this cable into it, and then this goes onto the cable in the bed in the back of the truck. From what I understand, you pull forward, you make a left or right turn, a sharp one, and then it's ready. So before I forget, we're going to be doing this video with a 2020, a 2020 F450 King Ranch Ultimate. So this is uh, one of the ultimates. It has the uh, all the features you can get it. So if you want this feature, you make sure that you order your truck or find one with the maximum tow package, or that it specifically has uh, all the the trailer backup features. Um, ask your dealership. I recommend Olivier Ford. They're the ones that made this happen. Um, Olivier Ford, they're in Montreal area. You got tons of trucks, tons of guys that really know what they're doing. So hit them up. They'll be able to get you one of these trucks with one of these systems. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna try and use the sticky thing for now because I'm lazy and I'm gonna see how well that works. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that if you're using the sticky one, so the area is clean. The stickers work better on clean, non-greasy surfaces. Okay. So I should be able to just stick this right here, and it should work. Just make sure the arrows are pointing straight up. I don't think that's quite straight up. Oh, but it's stuck on there. Yep, that's not straight at all. Well, that's it for that. That's on there. Okay, so that's done. That should work just fine. This is the table, cable that's gonna plug into the back of the truck. Just take this thing, uh, this plug here, plug it in. It's pretty simple. Okay, that's it. They also give you one more goodie, just stay there. This plug here, I really wish they would have put the double-sided tape on this too. But this plug here, it's gonna be for the storage of that thing. So you can put it somewhere where it's easy to get to. So when you're done with this plug, it's not just dragging, you have somewhere to clip it in. Sure. So they give you lots of options for tying this on. I'm just gonna go as simple as possible here. All right, now to avoid all the annoying YouTube comments, we're gonna snip these off and that'll be installed. You think? Yeah, so when we're done with this, we just plug it in up here. Let's try this. All right, so now that the trailer's done, all we gotta do is hook up to the uh, trailer, plug everything in, and we'll calibrate it. So 
so this is the interesting part. This is the extra. Um, with, if your truck is equipped with the uh, Pro Trailer Bag of Assist, the TPMS, like all those fancy trailer things, you're gonna have these two plugs. This one here is your standard seven pin. It's what all the trailers have been coming with for years. But this here is the extra one. So this here is going to be where your uh, extra plug-in goes into. I'm gonna do it first because it's on the bottom. Plug that in, make sure that's clicked in. Love how positive that feedback is. And then take your regular seven pin, and now everything is connected. All right, you're also gonna have to excuse the truck. Not much room in the back, got all my gear. Got this huge slip tank. Gives me a 2,000 kilometer range. Cardboard for covering vehicles. Got the box for the straps and equipment generator. And the toolbox is back there, it's a whole thing. Also, I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions. The bumper is taped up to protect it. Rocks, because the Ford mud flaps aren't low enough, it's actually sending rocks all over the rock camera here and into the bumper, so I'd tape that up. And of course, the tailgate's gone for the same reason. Can't get rock chips in something that's not there. So now we've got everything hooked up, we're gonna start uh, by pulling the truck forward and making a turn. So that should be all we need to calibrate the, uh, the sensors. So we should have a working pro trailer back of assist. So if you're setting up a new trailer, you're gonna wanna plug the trailer in and go to trailer setup and follow that guide. I already have this one set up, so we're gonna change that now to make this work. So change trailer settings. So we're gonna change trailer setup. Okay, the calibration process requires two steps. Drive straight forward until the trailer is straight behind the vehicle. Drive two, drive in left or right turn while holding steering steady. Drive straight forward to calibrate. Now I guess that it's calibrated. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're gonna go to the trailer. That's an automatic now. Should be able to press this. Okay, so when I back up, this screen here is gonna adjust where the trailer is, and I'm able to use this, okay. All right, holy shit, this thing is moving on its own. So now we're gonna, we want the trailer to go to the left. So we're gonna turn this to the, holy shit. Whoa, this is nice. Okay, so we're gonna see how hard it can cut now. Okay, so it knows that this is the maximum we can turn, and it's not letting me turn anymore. So now it should be able to follow the trailer back when I let it go. I don't know. Is it gonna work? All right, so it is backing up the trailer, and I haven't touched it yet. And if you notice on the screen, it's showing me the trailer. Where it is. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, I want the trailer. This is weird because I'm used to turning the wheel the wrong way, but I could get used to this. This is so cool. Okay, this is officially more fun than driving forward. And now it's gonna get the trailer trailer back straight. All right, let's see how it did. Let's see how it did. Okay, let's get out. Come on. All right, so that's the first time trying the Pro Trailer Back Assist, and it just backed this up perfectly straight. That is inc that is incredible. So when you let go of the knob, the knob controls where you want the trailer to go. So it's a direct input, and when you let go of the knob, it works on straightening out the trailer. So that is probably the coolest thing I've seen in a while. You think a bit of getting used to it. It's pretty cool. It's just like driving forward, but
All right, we're gonna cut it all the way. Hard turn. Yeah, this is so easy to get used to. This is great. This is where I like the drone shot, but I, I forgot the drone shot in Goose Bay. I'm rotted. Okay, so let go of the knob and it'll straighten us up. So now we're going straight. Didn't have to worry about a thing. People are looking at us funny. I wonder why. Okay, something I noticed is that if you hold this, if you take the steering wheel, uh, you can override the system right away. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so we're driving forward, that's all fine. We stop, put it in reverse, press on the button, select the trailer. I don't like that you have to select the trailer because this is the only trailer that's set up for this. Okay, that's on automatic and now we can just turn the knob and drive the trailer around. So yeah, this definitely is a luxury feature. I wouldn't say that this replaces knowing how to tow a trailer because you need to kind of know where the truck is going to go so that you don't hit anything and uh, you know knowing if you have enough room because the trailer backup assist does not do it for you it just assists you it's pretty much how i see it is it only helps with two things it helps you if you're lazy and don't want to turn the steering wheel like me or if you just don't know which way to cut the wheel sometimes sometimes you're in a high stress environment Oh, that scared me. We ran over a bottle. Holy shit. I thought someone shot me. If you don't know which way to cut the wheel, then this will do it for you. Alright. Let go and she should straighten up. Now we're going to back up straight for a while. See, so I can basically back up straight and not worry about touching the truck. Uh, it'll just do it itself. So I can just be completely relaxed and instead of manging my hands around here, I can just keep an eye out and pay full attention to what's around the truck. So that's also kind of nice. That was pretty cool, yeah. When you've got your spot pick, you let go of the knob and then it just straightens everything up for you. All right, that's awesome. Cool. Okay, so this is just a demonstration and setup of the system. I'm probably gonna do a proper video on it when I have the drone and all the cool features that come with this truck. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to set this up and try it. It's gonna be super nice coming in after a long, long drive, 13, 14 hours driving. Just being able to pick a spot, turn the knob back into it, perfectly straight, it's gonna be nice. Not that a lot of us can't do that without this, but just the simplicity of it, the easiness of it, and how sure it's gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be, it's, it's a cool feature. So guys, I hope that helped some of you if you're looking to set up the system. A lot of people get these trucks and don't set it up. I think it's definitely worth setting up. And if you ever have to put someone in the truck that doesn't really know how to back a trailer, then you have it set up and uh, ready for it. But if not, I hope you enjoyed seeing a truck pretty much drive itself. That's pretty cool. And uh, anyways, Danger Underscore Industries, the in uh, Instagram, to get these paddle shifters here, that's down below uh, in the description. You guys, you guys have a good day.